Hi, Carol here. Welcome back for just about the finale of my album to Kim, my sewing album, my very first sewing album. And this is the surprise page. I had envisioned a purse, a sewing purse. And to get that out of these napkins, all I had to do was take a zipper, and I had the zipper uh, laying out of my stash for some time because I knew I wanted to do this. I really did have this in my mind to create a beautiful, elegant uh, shoulder purse. And so I just, you take a zipper, any zipper that you have. I wanted to have a metal zipper because I find they work really well for opening and closing all the time. They're strong, they're durable, and not only that, I could have used my sewing machine if I wanted to drag the whole album over there, I suppose, but I know a lot of people don't like to sew. I never did until recently, and so I used the glue gun, and all you have to do is lay your zipper out, hold your creases exactly the size of the zipper. So one fold here, another fold, and you're going to have to see that you need to lay it close to the metal part, but not too close, right? Because the actual pull on the zipper, if you haven't worked with them before, which I hadn't, I had to realize that that glue, if it smushed out, would go close to that metal zipper where I'm trying to open and close it, where Kim will open and close it. So I had to be particularly cautious in that area of making the fold. And this dollar store uh, place setting napkin in that nice fine fabric, like that thin fabric was perfect for making something like this. So I took the flap right here and I cut it off close because I knew on the inside I was going to put a lining. Now, of course, it would have made it much easier if this wasn't already inserted in the album to put a lining and all that, but I, you know, you, I couldn't do that. It was already placed in the um, album as a page, and it wasn't until, you know, a couple of pages in that I knew I wanted to do um, an evening bag so that you could put stuff in and it would be zipped up and secure. When we get into the album, I do speed it up just a little bit because otherwise it really would be boring because what it is here is just putting a lining in and putting the picking a fabric that you really like in a, in a lace pattern. And I had the perfect evening bag um, placemat from the last haul. It's gold and black and just perfect and look at that I am using my little spatulas I got at the dollar store my dollar store and nothing's a dollar they're those Betty Crocker miniature spatula and spoon I use them throughout this whole purse page I just love them so here I'm making sure that the glue is not going to touch that zipper in any way I want to have all my corners I know the words not mitered but I want them all to be even and um, I just wanted to make my mom proud of actually working with material because I know um, that she just loved to sew and loved to make sure things were as um, accurate as can be and done right, you know. To her ability and to me she was amazing and so I tried to do that realizing that everything in here um, obviously on this lace right you could see through so I made sure that when I folded this scallop that it was even all the way across on this side because I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with the actual uh, purse, like what I was going to put on it. So I thought, okay, Carol, let's make it right the first time, just in case you don't add any embellishments and you keep it just plain. I did. I have so much on all the other pages. Look at that spoon go. Isn't it wonderful? I really, um, this is sped up, but I really worked patiently on this um, little purse and Honestly, I enjoyed every second of it. 
Yes, it's, this is a wonderful project for my first project, I have to admit, because it's nice and big, you know, it's bigger than, it started out 10 by 11 by 10, but with all the frills and lace and all that, of course, I it's much bigger. So now I don't want to glue any of this lace down because when you fold it and you are putting stuff in it, you don't want it to be bound uh, it, on anything. That was my thinking. I just want to put it evenly on the bottom. I want to make beautiful crisp folds uh, because even putting the lining in, the lining is a doily. Uh, it's a thin, fine doily, but still you can see uh, through it and I wanted to make sure that all of the folds were neat and tidy and I saw as I was creating this how it had such an elegance to it but it matched up with the previous pages so nicely and you're going to see that towards the end of the video I made it so that it was just shy of 26 minutes uh, but I wanted you to see how um, I don't know how much I guess I enjoyed to uh, create something that um, had to do with sewing and had to do with a lace album and an avenue that I had never adventured into before. But I'm going to tell you, I absolutely see why those that do uh, projects like this and they work with materials and laces, how much they love the creativity that you put into it and here see how I had to fold it in this is what I wanted to show you right here so that each side had the same amount of uh, inches like it looked like about I'd say three inches down and I wanted it to come perfectly uh, down here I had to just uh, take off a little bit of the fabric because of the um, zipper right there. I even wanted the zippers to look nice. And here I looked at it and I thought, okay, let's go get something that is going to uh, match as a lining. So I went and got that out and then I begin to put down the other side. Now, I'm using the same placemat on this. So each side will be just a little different, but I think when I sh when you see when I show you what I did with the one side of the album, you'll see that it doesn't make a difference. If I wasn't putting anything on one side of the purse, it, I would have made sure that the patterns matched up on each side. But I knew one side was going to be, have embellishments of some sort, like embellished laces, like a hanging lace. So I just kept to using up the one um, placemat here. And isn't it beautiful? If you could see the gold in this, it's actually not gold and black, it's gold and brown. And it matches the hues on the one bow that we used, my Deco Fun uh, bow from England. And it matches up all the laces on this when you see the actual... Um, uh, what is that called? It's kind of like a braided trim. It's absolutely gorgeous. I saved it. I've had it uh, for a long time, this braided uh, trim, and I wanted to use it on this bag. I think you're really going to like it. It was very warm outside, really warm, like hot today. And I, I know you're going to notice I have a sweater on, but that's because my AC is so nice and cold in my craft room. It's wonderful to work in there. Um, compared to my other craft room where I didn't have the AC in there so I am just enjoying it twofold having it nice and cool and um, working on a project that I absolutely can't wait for Kim to receive it I really did uh, put my heart and soul into this project and uh, I think she's going to really um, get a lot of use out of, out of this sewing book so um, here I am just folding in everything so it meets properly and especially coming down as far as the um, uh, where it meets like the bag so that it does look like um, an over-the-shoulder purse 
And the only thing that I didn't think of, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to put a fine chain on it. I think that will really add to uh, the elegance of having it. So I have the back page to do. So when just finished, I have a few things. I just want to show you how I fastened the book together and what I did with the back page and we are finished and that won't be a long video I promise <laughs> so here I am tacking down the lace for the inside and it's another lace placemat and um, what I am doing inside is making sure that it is even I want it uh, even though you're not gonna see it that's funny even I want to make it even and even though yeah and it's not even late. I'm not even editing this late. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make sure the pattern on the one side is the same as the pattern when you unzip it on the other side. I was mindful of that. Um, it's truly amazing for someone that never s has sewn. And, um, well, I mean, I sew buttons and things, you know on my husband's shirts and that way he misses a button or whatever but never used the sewing machine and here I am loving every minute of working with materials and lace so um, it's not really important that on the inside here with your um, lining that you get all the way down straight now I did I worked I worked really careful uh, when I was applying this to the inside because I didn't want it to you know snag on anything when you undid the zipper so I had my hand right inside this bag on the sides uh, when the zipper was open and um, but I'm gonna run a line I would say about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom evenly all the way across when the lining's already in there so that um, it's straight so when you put things in it it's not going to go to the very bottom it's going to have a straight line on the inside um, and all of the you know whatever you're putting inside will meet because the line's going to be straight across and uh, I thought that was important for some reason while doing the lining and running that glue like I said across the bottom it not only secured the lining to the bottom of the purse but it just added, um, I don't know, something special to the inside. When you open it up and you look down inside, it all looked even. So here I am going to cut this off. I'm trying to think, okay, do I want to cover like the three inches from the top down? You know, do I want to secure just the bottom half? and leave the upper portion open a little bit or do I want to secure it all and I chose to to close the purse completely other than the zipper and here I am making sure that I fold it nicely and that it measures perfectly going across there probably won't be able to see it but I will know uh, that my project was done to the best of my ability and when giving it to somebody else. So here I'm just checking out to make sure that the um, fold is the same running all the way across. I kind of snuggle it in there, see how I have to work with it. But it really wasn't that difficult. Like I know it looks like you struggle with it uh, to get the lining in there, but it really wasn't. It, was, uh, it had enough space to fit your hand down in there. I used the pokey tool and the spatula to make sure that um, it butted up to everything I wanted it to butt up to. And uh, I'm so pleased with the outcome. I can't even tell you. It just, um, it matched the, the both the pages, which was amazing. When you go to a thrift store and you pick up stuff from a, one thrift store to another thrift store, then you go to do your lace album and they all fit together. That's a wonderful thing. Another thing I liked about this project um, is that I was able to use, oh yeah, my glue gun with the batteries inside, the rechargeable batteries. So I didn't have to worry about a cord getting in my way, so that was nice. Um, and then I plugged in my detailed glue gun 
because when I put that braided trim on there, and I absolutely love this trim, I think Kim is going to love it on this purse. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're doing something, you wonder whether simplicity is the better thing, you know, that you don't really over embellish. Um, I think I fight with that, you know, like uh, adding and adding and adding. And I wondered whether I should have left the purse just like that. And then I went through my trims and I found this trim that I took off of, um, boy, I've had this a few years. I was doing a lampshade and I had bought, um, I'm not sure what it was this trim was on. And I saved it and saved it and saved it. And I think I did for this purse because it matches divinely with that page we're looking at with the brown bow. It's just, uh, I love the, uh, the applique. I don't know, whatever is on this, it's just gorgeous. It's not a braid, but it has its own pattern. And it's just simply, oh, it's stunning. And it did add to the bag, and I'm really glad I put it on there. And I made sure that I secured it really well. And I thought it would be nice to take it and wind it all the way around, like not to have any seams on it. So I think, I don't know if it's here or when, I switch over to my detailed blue glue gun because, see, I want to close up the uh, two sides of it. So it just looks like it fit there. And then I worked really hard to get the pokey tool and my spatula way down inside. So you didn't, you wondered if there were, you know, if it just ran its way around that you couldn't see any um, cut in it. There was no seams, which was really nice. And I still haven't switched over. You can see there's no cord in there. <laughs> Yes, I love having the batteries on this uh, glue gun, but I think it's right here where I think to myself, you know what, I need to have the detailed glue gun because this has the fat uh, glued as well as the bigger opening. And um, yeah, I'm still using it on this side. I don't know when I change, yeah. But not see how nicely they meet right there? I love this trim. Ugh. I love the whole album, actually. <laughs> and it's my own project. I, I hate to even say that. You know, it sounds like vanity, but I don't know. For my first book, I'm just I just falling in love with it. I, I just really can't wait until Kim gets it. And, yeah, here's where I notice, okay, um, I think I'm going to switch over because I want to make sure that the... Um, Oh, I'm running out of the glue maybe here. But uh, yeah, isn't that a gorgeous trim? I wish you could see. I should have taken a picture of that really close up. It's so intricate and uh, it has such a beautiful pattern on it. I just love it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, and it's hot too. And you want to make sure you let out a little bit of glue because it was sitting there and I don't want to have burnt glue. So, you know, it's orange coming out of it. So I always squirt out a little bit and uh, to make sure the glue is nice and clear when it comes out. So we're going to do it on the other side here. And now I'm just checking all the way up to make sure it looks really, you know, it lays down really nice. I hope I didn't put too much uh, into the edit, like that you're too bored with watching it because really it's only the preparation of making the bag out of uh, Table Runner, but I did want you to see how enjoyable it was to do, how simple it is to make a bag out of two pages by just folding it to look like a bag, you know, and matching it up with your zipper so that the fold, when you crease it over, it's the same um, measurement as the zipper is across. And I picked those zippers up. Remember I showed you I picked them up at uh, the same place, that same uh, store that I bought all the trims from. Uh, it was like an older little, um, almost like a little Woolworths. And uh, it's still there. 
And uh, she had a whole lot of those zippers and, the, and I picked them up. I think they were like five cents each. And, and I love the fact that they're all metal. So here I'm just squirting it, getting my pokey tool. I want it right underneath there. I don't want anything showing as far as a seam. And then I match it up on this side, then cut it off. And then I'll take my pokey tool right there and I'll fit it snug right under there. Uh, maybe I didn't even have to do that with that. But when you see the other side, and this is where you have to be careful that you don't put too much glue. This is why I switched over to the detail glue gun because you don't want it to go anywhere near. And I was thinking, should I put two because it had that seam there? And I thought, nope, nope, I'm not going to overdo it. I love the simplicity of it. Um, but I did want to have a dangle on one side. And I'm looking at it there and I'm thinking, okay, I'll hide that side of the uh, folded scallop underneath. And couldn't this not be the most perfect dangle? I think this dangle is the one I got off my scarf. I'm 100% sure it's off the scarf that I used to wear. And I've gotten so much use out of this, I can't even tell you. And uh, so then I'm making sure that each side has the same uh, cut and the same amount of um, circles on it. And it meets at the same place on each side. And I'm really securing it well. I'm putting a little dab under the circle and a little dab on the top. And then I turn it around. And the tiny circles there, I put a tiny drop of glue because I don't want it to look at that. Oh. And then it, it kind of, um, you know, it's not an invisible zipper, so you can see the metal, but I think it's absolutely uh, divine. That's the word. It's just elegant. I'm just so pleased. And then all I have to do here, we're coming up to the end, is um, the back page and show you how I made a class with that uh, boggle. So here we are, we're coming, we're finishing. I'm just showing you the front cover again. You turn it, you have this page, which I love with the scissors in that. I'm just trimming a little bit on the bottom, I noticed. And then I will do a final look over before the next video because we are going to, uh, you know, do a final run through on the video. And I'm happy with that page. And here is the flap. And look at how the top of the purse folds down like that. Ah, oh, I just love that. Look at that trim. Can you tell? It's the same colors are as that scallop trim there. I mean, everything just matched perfectly. I just couldn't be more pleased. And here you have a little pocket there, uh, halfway. And then you have this gorgeous shoulder evening bag on there. And uh, it's simple, yet elegant. It matches so wonderfully. Yes, I'm just staring at it like that. And I knew I wanted to put a little sewing machine on the boggle, that, the boggle, on that dangle there, the zipper. And here is that page my friend Debbie really likes. She's commented so many times that she likes this page. And uh, then we have the back. I, you're really going to like what I did with the back page. Simple, elegant, and it just makes it complete. And I have a short video where I'll show you that. And uh, here I'm just adding that little sewing machine to the dangle on the zipper. It has that ball on there, so I want to make sure the ball was on the space way over to the right-hand side of the empty space of the metal sewing machine so it looked like it kind of just was made for there and I don't want the glue to touch the lace so I'm going to hold it and it's kind of flat it's not a rounded back it's a flat back so it really secured itself tightly to the uh, pull and I show you that when I go to pull it across it is on there. I might secure it with some E6000 later and just let it sit overnight. Uh, I probably will because that ran through my mind. You know, you're going to be pulling on that and putting stuff inside the purse. 
and I think I'm going to put a gold, I have this gold really delicate chain. I think I'll hang it from each side of the evening bag and uh, just, you know, maybe you could put it on the inside of the zipper, I don't know, but I think it, uh, I'll see how it looks and look at that. Doesn't that look cute? <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, everybody. You've really supported me through my first project here. I appreciate that. And I appreciate your wonderful comments and subscribing to my channel. You have made this an enjoyable project for me. And I so, so appreciate it. Look at how it sits wonderfully. When you see the clasp, I think you're really going to like it. Have yourself a blessed weekend, and we will see you on the next project which will be the back page. Take care, everybody.